Good morning. We're coming to you from the Ford Room in the Retro Community Museum. This uh, morning's guest is Marva Slavin. She's a longtime resident of Rector, Arkansas. Good morning, Marva. Good morning. So, when did you move here? In 1962. 1962. Well, I remember that you lived next door to me when I was growing up. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we're kind of like brother and sister. We grew up, my, uh, my mom and dad were like parents to you. Yes. And, uh, and so a lot of people don't realize that. Kept my kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, rode, yeah. Rode my kids. Oh, my gosh, yeah, yeah. We, we did, and uh, I, I enjoyed that. Well, Marva is a, uh, uh, is a uh, historian for the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, and uh, let me show you a picture here. This is what it used to look like, and we were talking about that. This church is like uh, 130 years old, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, it obviously is the oldest church in in town. We we talk about that. We think that's right. Hope it. We hope it's right anyway. Uh, and uh, and so uh, we uh, we just we went up there this morning and, and took several pictures, and so we're going to be sharing those pictures with you, so you can kind of see some of the history. Uh, this is a uh, this is an article that was in the paper in in uh, 1999, I believe. And it talks about the the church and, and that it was 106 years old. In 1999, so 107 and 24, yeah, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's 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 older than that. So uh, we uh, we're blessed to still have that building here. Uh, that part, picture is the the burning of the bond that we paid it off. Before it's paid that off. Is, uh -huh. Well, that's yeah, that's that's neat. That's what that picture is. Okay. Well, and you can see that the church used to have a taller steeple. And and a, and a storm got that yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And and so uh, uh, we uh, uh, we we up there this morning, and and we took several pictures around, and, and so we're going to be talking about those uh, pictures. One of one of the things that I that I was most shocked about, and and I'm sure that you're going to be too. Is anybody? In your wildest dreams, you could not guess what this is, it, what it was. This is now the the kitchen, kitchen dining and the, room, and there's actually a couple of, uh, three classrooms, uh, restrooms in there, and some classrooms, and two bathrooms, and uh, it, it's just uh, this window. I'm sure that several of these uh, uh, people watching have uh, been handed a hamburger through that window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, let's see, this, this, this window, I, I didn't change my picture. So, so that window, let me go back to this picture here. This is what I was talking about, that is the addition uh, that uh, is on it. And do you remember when that addition was added? About. I think it was 1964 or 65. Okay, yeah. So uh, I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, so <laughs> I was just shocked to find this out. Let me. This is this is some of the inside. There's there's the inside. Some of the inside there. Uh, there's more of it. And and but this this window. So tell them. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you tell them what uh, what that used to be. Uh, Miss uh, Miss Harper, Mister Miss yeah. Harper had a hamburger joint across from the school. Back let's see, I don't know whose grocery store it was. Back behind when Brother Jack and Bearden and them had a store in there. And they they lived uh, in the store, and uh, 
this this building was Mr. and Miss Harper's hamburger joint for the kids that come got hamburgers every day. I think I'm trying to think. Is that Pine Pine Street? It's is corner of Pine Street and Seventh. Yeah, I believe that's it right. It was across from the old high school. Uh huh. Uh, the old Foot, football field. Uh, where the football field is now. Uh huh. Uh, it was it was there, and if you those of you remember, she served out the window. The best mm -hmm. I can remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it, it's just. I was shocked to find that out. Uh, it's <laughs> I'm stammering around because it, it's just I, it, I I just could not believe that that was the that was Eula's I think we called it Eula's Eula, Cafe. Yeah, Eula. Eula's yeah. Cafe. Yeah, Eula's Cafe. And uh, and when we had open campus, you know, we could go over there and, and get, get a hamburger, hamburger and, and sold it. Yes, yes, she cooked them right there. Yeah, uh -huh. it was it was yeah amazing. So. I'm, I'm sure that there's people out there that's just as amazed as I am because it's been there since the mid-60s. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, this is a, so here is the, the, the picture with the, with the steeple. And then this is what it looks like now. And, and we took several pictures of the inside too. Uh, it's beautiful inside. Let me show you some insides. And, and I'll let you talk about, about this. These yeah. doors. Yeah, they raise. They're, uh -huh. they're on a slide. They just raise them up. Yeah, because they would have such big crowds, basically yeah. at, at, yeah. at uh, we revivals. We had two, two Sunday school classrooms there. And then when we had the mission to, the men's missionary meeting, <clears throat> there'd be so many that we had to raise the doors, you know, to yeah. have room for everybody to yeah, seat, be seated. Yeah. Uh, so here's a, a, if you've not been in this building, you would be just, just amazed. I was. And, and this is this is just beautiful, the baptistry. And I'll let you tell about the about the baptistry. Well, Jay and uh, JG and uh, Johnny Pruitt and Wayne Johnson went to Texas and bought the baptistry. And they was coming back and they stopped to eat. And there was two little boys and his dad was out. Uh, that little boy said, oh, you got a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> when she told me that, I said, yeah. Uh, I have seen kids actually dive in those when they were getting <laughs> baptized. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, I guess you may call it swimming pool. Seemed and, like that was in the 70s when they, when they you know, that, that we put that in after, after they'd done the classrooms and uh, the bathrooms. Yeah, which was in the Euless Cafe uh -huh, building. Uh -huh. yeah. And then uh, you were telling me about then the the pulpit stand there, Brother Jack Bearden made that, and then the altar stand here, and then Jay's sister, they they had built a new church and they got a new communion table, <clears throat> and she said she wanted to give that to Jay for us to have for our church, and I believe that was in the sixties, uh, late sixties or early seventies when when they brought that up, you know, to us. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, here's something else. Uh, this is something you've just done. Yeah. You've yeah. just done this. We had a classroom in there, and then we had different preachers, and sometimes they would come for the weekend. So Kenny had a couch that made a bed, and then I, I at the yard sale, I bought another couch so they could have, you know, uh, his, uh, his, they could rest. You know, on the weekend, or if they was just uh, if they was just there for Sunday, well then they could rest Sunday afternoon. Okay, I was looking. I took a one of the picture, but I don't think I got it put on here. So we'll just have to go straight to this. Another thing that shocked me about this building is that it has an upstairs. I got married in that church. I had, and I mean, my family has has gone on my on my dad's side uh, with the church, 
had no idea there was an upstairs, and this was a classroom. This yeah, was a it was a classroom. It's just a junk room now. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was a teenager's classroom, yeah. right? Yeah, at one time, Jay yeah. had 16 or 17 teenagers. and Wow. So so let's let's talk about some of the, uh, the, the preachers. Uh, uh, so let's see if, if, I, if, I, if I can do this, if I'm smart enough to make this thing work. Uh, so in, in 1999, it was 106 years old. Okay, so if we add 24, 25 years to that, it's 131, and if we subtract that from 2024, 1893. Looks like it was built in like 1893. Uh, uh, Does that sound right to you? Uh, seems like that's right. <sighs> okay, well, I'm a I'm a numbers guy. And I can't help it. I have I, to I have to do it that way. So, uh, the uh, uh, do you remember anything about in reading who like the first preacher was or? Thurman Holt started the the church. He he now he he was a friend to Square Shooter Wright. And the, 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 this this this, this kind of Thurman Holt was not the first preacher in eighteen ninety three. You're talking oh, about no, when it no. opened back when up. it opened in in sixty. I think he started in, in sixty one or sixty two. I believe because it had been closed. For uh, a while. Been, the Pentecost was going there, and and they closed it. Yeah, it started out as a Presbyterian. Yeah, church, Pres I, believe. I believe that's right. And and over the years, it has has uh, has there's been several different congregations. Oh yeah, there. yeah, several. And 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 then it closed for for a pretty good while. Uh huh. And. And this was another shocker to me. I didn't know this. Square Shooter Wright bought it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I'll let you pick up from. Well, in Square Shooter, that's what he used it for his barn. He, there was when when we got it in '62. When when Thurman Thurman for a year tried to buy it from him, and he would not. He said, "Let us rent it." And he said, "No." You know, I've got all my hay and my my stuff in there. And he said, "No." And he just kept on and kept on at him and being a friend to him. And he finally, he said, I, I'm tired of you bugging me. I'm just going to let you let you buy it. So he said, but I ain't cleaning it up. And there was hay and you, you just name it in there. It took him, I think, about a week or two weeks to get it cleaned out. And then, then he put on, you know, different churches give us pews and you know and then someone to give a piano and uh, and that then we started from that and and so you've been going this whole time yeah I, I, we we've yeah. been going uh, uh we started in, in 64, 60, 64 the last of 63 or 64 is when we had moved here from Kennett and uh, brother Thurman was visiting us and uh, we wanted to find a church and uh we went a couple of Sundays, and we was real impressed with his message, and the people were very friendly, and we we've been there and, uh, since then. You know, and, and and the house that you lived in, Thurman lived in before you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Nice, uh -huh. right. Yeah, uh, and and, and J J G Slavin was your husband, uh -huh. and he worked at. What was the name of the dealership? Sewell's, Sewell's, Sewell's Ford Ford dealership at, in Kennett. In Kennett, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and and that's when when we when we moved from Jonesboro to Kennett, well, we lived there almost a year, and Jay had to get out of state because it was Missouri. He he went hunting fishing with his daddy and his brother, and he said, "I don't like that having to buy out of state license." And he said, "So he said, let's see if we can find a." Someplace in, in Rector, he said that that be won't be far for us to drive to work, and uh, and I and I worked uh, after a, a first year after we moved to Rector. Well, then, so uh, I worked at GE when we was at Jonesboro, and then Sewell was on the board at Emerson, and he said, "When you get ready to go back to work, you let me know, and I'll." I'll see if I can't get you on. And so I I worked at Emerson and Jay worked at Sewell's and we drove back and forth for you know uh, to work. Okay. 
and uh, we didn't. Usually, I start these off talking about about family. Uh, you uh, you have two children, mm -hmm. Kenny, Kenny and Sandy, and and Kenny Slavin, and he lives. And he's in Knoxville. Knoxville. And Sandy lives in Nashville. In Nashville, they're they're both Tennessee kids. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's that's cool. Uh, okay, well, uh, I, I feel like we've kind of covered everything here. I, we haven't been on very long, but I uh, feel like we've kind of covered everything. Uh, so if uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just. Make them at the bottom here, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can answer them. All right. Well, thank you, William, Marva. We uh, thank you. We